We've got a little ball of very, very sad little cubs that are not enjoying this watery grass that they're having to lie in. So they're all packed together for warmth. We've got a little ball of sticks cubs. Now you can see that they're grooming themselves, they're getting rid of the moisture and there's droplets from the trees. Shame they're kind of very confused by all of this. In fact, you probably find that this is their first real big rain for the younger ones. Well, not big rain, but kind of moist grassy morning and they're a little bit unsure about all of it so it's definitely the sticks pride that we did follow and, and the way that they were moving indicated that like I was saying if they headed to the southern side that it would be more likely the sticks it's just interesting how far north they pushed I haven't seen the sticks pride up near sort of Zoe's and Rebecca's area for the entire time that I've been here so nice to see them again and nice that they've decided to spend their morning on Juma because at one point I found their tracks at Treehouse Dam going southwards I thought well we're in for a bit of a disaster here and that they might cross out but they decided to kind of turn back north and we now have them on Philemon's cut line and they're just busy grooming themselves the females are off to my right hand side having a bit of a groom and getting themselves ready for what lies ahead which is a day of rest because slowly but surely a little bit of sun is starting to peek out and peek through the sort of misty layer that we've had this morning and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful clear day so there's the sun just poking through between the branches and in the mist and it is a beautiful sunrise and the morning is like i was saying earlier fresh and clean and to have lions with the golden sun is really quite spectacular now since i want to go forward for you just slightly because there's something that i want to show you because it'll be really quite nice i hope it stays if i move slightly forward because it really is very pretty there we go so since if you see that buffalo thorn over there all the droplets of water that are catching the golden morning light i hope it comes out but it is really quite pretty we'll get back to our lion cubs just now that are being super cute in their tight little bundle and that the sticks pride is here we'll spend quite a bit of time with them this morning but this buffalo thorn there we go so you can see there's just a whole bunch of droplets all over the branch now where i'm sitting at the moment the whole bush has got all the trees have got that kind of view on them they all look like they've got little fairy lights scattered all over and they're making it sort of reflect the golden light that is coming through that mist at the moment it is very pretty so the little droplets all catching that gold light and it like i say it almost looks like the bush is studded with fairy lights towards our eastern side it is absolutely wonderful and adds to the atmosphere of our little cubs grooming themselves and taking it very easy so beautiful scene and like i say a nice way to kind of start our week actually i suppose a new week and a new start and well a little bit of rain that fell and a bit of moisture in the air is always welcome as well and i'm sure this is going to start this budding process we're going to start to see a lot more trees getting leaves but the stick spider is, an, is is interesting that they're here i know yesterday that they were seen somewhere on torchwood and so they've obviously traveled a long way during the night they've moved from torchwood all the way to juma around juma in a big loop basically and they're now settling down it does look like they might have had a meal if you look at this cub that is busy sort of feeding at the moment this cub has got a quite a fat full belly so it's got a, a little belly that it's busy grooming at the moment and so it looks like they got some sort of meal somewhere somewhere in there it's not exactly a very thin belly that there is at least a little bit and this is what the sticks pride need is they need a lot of nutrients they need to keep going and this moisture that they're going to have in the air is actually really good for them so you'll see that they are showing little signs of mange around their bodies and and on their tummies and places like that and it's why they're all grooming themselves the way that they are but at the end end of the day they the moisture will help control that mite so mange populates and and thrives in dry conditions but as soon as we get a bit of moisture the mange doesn't like it at all and so it's a good time now that the sticks have managed to get to the age that they've got and hopefully with the summer season that's going to come and the rain that's going to fall and the water that's going to be around these guys should be just fine and they should recover quite nicely you can remember that the Inkahuma pride had a similar situation and they then came right as soon as the summer came in so i'm hoping the same for the sticks now while we watch our little bundle of cuteness and our ball of cubs i believe jamie has a young animal of her own that is very special and i know a lot of you will really enjoy because it's not something we see very often at juma lion cubs are very cute but 